okay, straps are a big part of a lot of my classes. So if you sign up to work with me, then I give you some straps for free. Um, we use these for everything and anything really, for assisting people with their lifts, things such as leg lifts, it's a really common one that we use an awful lot, going just up and down or up and out. Okay, if you're doing leg lifts, you want to say to people not to lean back, you want to have a locked in pelvis, glutes squeezed and activated, shoulders back, everything's nice and guided and controlled. Lovely, we use them for bow pose, which is one of my favorites. <clears throat> Deep breaths in, exhale, fold, inhale up. And we do this until the arms hurt and they start moaning and groaning, because it's really good fun, this one. We can also do bow pose in reverse, so this goes behind us, okay? Inhale, exhale, fold. And you can also say if people want to bring it over their head, then they can do, most people won't but it's an option to extend that pose a little bit further. Okay, we've obviously got our um, lovely little um, side bends here we can have in as well. So there's different types you can do. You can have it where the upper body is locked in or you can have it where the whole body, upper body is moving side to side like so, or you can lock it in. Okay, so find what works for you. Lots of different tips and tricks there. Um, one of my favourites to do, or come a little bit closer to show this one to you, this one does involve a little bit of explaining. So you will probably need to get up and explain this to your group and remind them they can stay sat down because the number of times I get people who get up with me and I'm like, no, it's okay, you can sit down. So taking it with your right hand to start, we're just draping this over the back of the body, okay? Bending that hand down so it's tapping that left shoulder. Um, we're still holding the strap there. Now push the head back, okay? Otherwise you're gonna get a crumped over head like that and it's not good for anybody. Left hand then is coming to grab the base of that strap and we're just walking that hand up as far or as low as it wants to go. The sort of aim is to have the hands locked together like so, but we don't wanna be pushing for that just yet. So just having that nice open here through the spine and people are just sat on their um, chair like this. If you've got um, chairs are a little bit fiddly then feel free to get sit sideways on the chair so you haven't got that problem to work with okay deep breath in exhale release the lower hand first then the upper hand nice and slow and controlled because again you can get those little shoulder spasms there so nice relaxed shoulders and then the other side so up with the left hand um, taking hold of the strap there's no particular way to hold any of the straps and people will try and find a way but you don't need to, there's no, no need to have it a certain way, okay? Um, so that's going up above us. We're exhaling it down to that shoulder, pushing the head back so that it's nice and open. Right hand is grabbing the strap there and stretching through the body. Um, and we're sitting in a chair, taking some nice deep breaths. I'd hold people in these for quite a long time. They are quite deep poses. Um, and then releasing the lower arm nice and controlled and slowly. And then the upper arm nice and controlled and slowly. And having those lovely shoulder rolls for me there as well, please.